You would do well to pay attention to it. You can only perform actions when it reaches full. Once it fills up, try shooting the robo target using the attack icon, then clicking on his battle icon. You can cancel the action by right clicking on your mouse or by hitting escape. Okay, so I'm going to attack him. Select beat attack and select the robot. Shot him for nine points of damage. And he just punched me for 79. Ha! Huh. Did you think he would just take a poke without fighting back? You can't stir up a hornet's nest without getting stung. That's why it's important to keep an eye on your health. Your health bar shows how much life you have left. Looks like he landed quite a wallop. Go ahead and take another shot at him and we'll move on. Let's wait for my meter to charge up here. Shoot. Okay, we're done. Not bad, kid. But you need to loosen up. You hold the gun like it's a dead rat. You gotta wrist it better. You got plenty of potential. But don't let it go to your head. Especially after seeing what that robot droid did to you with one hit. You're gonna need a ton of her tutoring if we're gonna shape you up into a bastion of unstoppable beathood. I'll tell you what. I wouldn't normally do this, but you can't learn or pay me if you're dead. Some porker once paid me with a life cursor shield upgrade. Since I don't even own one, why don't you take it? No, really. You caught me on a generous day. Go ahead and apply the upgrade. I'm curious to see if it's got any guts. Okay, so now what happens is uh, my life cursor has been upgraded and I have a special ability now called uh, Fatima Shield. You'll see that soon here. Now that we've spiced up your life cursor, you'll notice a new battle icon and a full bar that we haven't discussed yet. Pay attention. Here's the fun stuff. This new icon is for your battle skill. Battle skills are special moves that you can perform during battle. They're quite powerful but require special energy to execute, unlike beat attacks that you can do every turn. So it's, uh, you know, you've got your basic attacks and then your special, and your special meter, meter, your special meter slowly fills up. This special energy, which slowly accumulates during battle, is called bouge. Keep track of how much you have left with your bouge bar. Note that different battle skills require different amounts of bouge. But enough talk. Let's use your new battle skill by clicking on the battle skill icon, selecting the battle skill of your choice, and then clicking on your image. Let's wait for my turn to fill up. And Fatima Screen, that's the name of it. It's not Shield, it's Screen. Let's cut it up, boy. Let's shoot him. Oh, he's going to hit me first. That didn't do as much damage that time. Excellent. Last time the robot target hit you for 79 damage. With the upgrade screen, he only hit you for 43. Quite a difference. Got more training here. Well, congratulations, squab. You survived your first lesson. Now that you know the basics, we can build on them. As part of the introductory offer to the Temple of Beating, every new client gets two heel grease plus at the end of their first lesson. Judging by the way that robot beat you around, you're going to need it. Come grab me again when you're ready for your next lesson. We don't need to use those because we get healed when we, uh, when we get to our next lesson anyway. So let's go do that. Now you, you may have noticed it said I gained a level. Uh, you know, didn't actually assign any points or anything. I think my attributes may have gotten better, but, you know, I don't even, I don't even know what they were before. Let's go, where are we? Can we manipulate anything here? No. Okay, let's go get lesson number two. That last lesson got your blood pumping, didn't it? Ready for more? Bring it. That's the spirit. Crack your knuckles, pull up your socks, and let's begin. 
The next major element you need to learn is about distance. The distance between you and your enemies can make all the difference in the world. For example, someone who fights with their bare hands or stick needs to be close to their enemy in order to land a blow, while someone with a gun can attack from further away. Don't roll your eyes at me, squab. For all I know, you have an ascent of common sense in that cranium. Until you prove otherwise, I gotta state the obvious. There are two attack types, melee and range. Melee attacks require the attacker to be close, while range attacks can be done from a distance. I saw that. I swear to class, son, if you roll your eyes at me one more time, and I'll knock them out for good, you hear me? How about we beat some of that attitude out of you? So uh, apparently he doesn't like when Sly rolls his eyes at him. You remember your last lesson taught you about the different battle icons? We're going to focus on the move command now. When you click on the move icon, the movement grid will appear, allowing you to select any available node you want to travel to. Let's try an exercise. I'm going to set the robot target to melee attack only. Try avoiding it for as long as possible using the move button. Let's see how far those chicken legs get you. Here's the move. And let's move there. This really barely ever comes in handy in the game. You're basically best off just bashing the hell out of everything. Not as quick as you think you are, huh? Not the most useful tactic in battle, but it's nice to know your options in a pinch. Listen, if you're going to make a habit out of getting slapped around every time I throw you in the ring, I better teach you how to heal yourself. I personally recommend Corticum Heal Grease for all your healing needs. I guess Corticum is the uh, you know dominant corporation in this, uh, in this galaxy. This antibiotic healing grease prevents scars, infection, and relieves pain. It's a specially formulated compound salve that works instantly on humans, non-humans and bots alike. I imagine a downtrodden bastard such as yourself should keep one handy at all times. Hey, luckily for you, Corticom gives me a free sample, free supply of standard heel grease every month for endorsing their product. Here's a sample tube, so I just got another freebie. To use heel grease, you'll need to select the item icon, choose the heel grease, and then click on your portrait on the battle plaque. Pay attention, son. The Wandering Mind is the first to get torpedoed. And so, I'll use a heel grease on myself. And I'm back up to full. Feels nice, doesn't it? You can never have enough heel grease, so stock up when you have the chance, my boy. On the other hand, heel grease is unnecessary if you never take damage in the first place. Which brings us to our next exercise. Now that we've made appropriate changes to the arena, I'm going to teach you something that might give you the whip hand in an encounter. Sometimes you'll have the opportunity to use the surrounding environment to your advantage. This, like, never happens. Whenever you're standing next to something that can be used in battle, the action icon will appear. Take a good look at the current movement grid. Note there are two places for you to move to, directly in front of you and to your left. Step to the node on your left using the move button and use the action icon to activate the switch there. Let's do that. Wait for our turn meter to fill up again. Action icon. Yeah, it made a... whatever, fence. See what you've done? Take another look at the movement grid. Notice the lasers are now cutting off that node. Since the robo target is set to melee mode, he can attack you. Take this opportunity to show him Bedlam with your range weapon. Dust him. You're making progress, squab. Just realize that having a range weapon doesn't always mean you'll hit your intended target. Line of sight can come into play during battle as well. For example, if someone stands directly between you and the enemy, chances are you won't target them and vice versa. Okay, okay, I can see you're getting that insolent look again. 
We better end this lesson before you push me too far and I cane your face.